Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Maze. In the last episode, we did a lot of diving around, and we ended up here in Quartz City. At least I think that's what it was called. And uh, we started off doing a little bit of exploration around this town, which is full of so-called scientists. Quartz City, there we go. And we had a couple of things that we wanted to investigate. Did we do this? Rainy Labs farms out some computing jobs to these machines. My job is to make sure they don't flake out in the middle of a job. So we didn't do this. Grumble, grumble. Why did the servers keep dying on me? And if we had some Magneton, all our troubles would be solved. Instead, we just have a few Voltorb shoved in there. What? How is that being cruel? So, talking of electric Pokemon, I have decided that it's time to evolve Pikachu. Um, primarily because uh, when I looked up the various moves that Pikachu can learn, it seemed to me that actually he hadn't actually learnt, you know, like he should have learnt Thunderbolt before the time that he had. So, looking here, I need to go back to the PC and uh, empty out some stuff. Apologies for this, I thought I'd uh, done this. Anyway, uh, I deposit the rings. Uh, the old world. Don't need that. Don't need the bubble ring. Do, 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 do. The booster ring. I'm not really using the rings at all, to be honest. Um, that's not because they're not a good idea. Uh, just not finding that much use for them. We can also get rid of the HMs, obviously, because we're not using them. And now uh, we can withdraw. Might as well withdraw that. Thunderstone is the important one. Item stone, just in case. Actually, we're not going to need an item stone. I don't know why I bother doing that. We'll take out some of these TMs. Uh, because you never know when you might use them. Or sell them as it might well turn out to be. Okay, cool. Anyway, so yeah, like I said, we are going to evolve Pikachu using the Thunderstone. On Pikachu, Pikachu is evolving, and we have our own selves a new Raichu, which is pretty awesome. So, so anyway, um, so what did we have here? We had a route to the north, if I remember correctly. We had a route to the west. Um, so we have the bridge, Port City to Tropia City. We have so yeah, so we have the bridge. We have. Route to the west, which leads to, according to the town map, nowhere. So actually, I think we'll do that first. We'll do the we'll do that area because if it leads to nothing in particular, then uh, we'll just act as sort of like practice ahead of um, ahead of the potential gym battle. Uh, the volume is at the right level. So we now have Raichu, um, at level 20, 33, Sorry, uh, we'll obviously keep Krabby in. So, just go to the end of here, let's see, I remember we went this far, I think, before. Route 14, Route 15, Quart City. So there's some paths down here. Okay, Wild Pokemon, we have Psyduck. Do we have a... we should have a Psyduck, I'm pretty sure. And they're pretty... Eh, not that high level, to be honest. Um, there we go. I'm pretty sure we have Psyduck. Psyduck is... no, I don't want number. If you could tell me them all from number, that would be brilliant. Anyway, he's ready to test his luck. You see, my Pokemon team is special. They're different. Every time they come out of the Pokeball, let's see what face is dealt me for this battle. I mean, he's got Ditto. Nope, he's got a Scizor. Um, so we want to go Growler. And we use Ember. Get the burn, and Ember takes down the scissor. He's also got an electrode. Um, so I'm going to go to Stradicate. And we're going to go Hyper Fang. And Hyper Fang again. There we go. Sweet. He's got a Murkrow. Uh, perfect for Raichu. And a Shock. And a Shock once more. Good. And he's got a Growlithe. So we'll go to Krabby. And hope, hopefully get a... A nice hit in. Ooh, he uses takedown. Ah, it takes me out. That's not. Uh, just use crap. There we go. Sweet. He says he was unlucky. I used to train in Garnet City's gym. 
Chance is quite the leader. Uh, we'll use a revival on Krabby because he still needs to get all the levels. Okay, so we can jump across there. We got more Psyduck. Um, let's just see what Pokemon are around here. Uh, Flaffy. Which is a bad Pokemon for. Krabby. Venonat! Okay, I don't think we've caught a Venonat, so I think we'll. And of course, it uses poison powder, but I do have. I don't have a revive, no, I have a potion. Uh, anyway, well, we're gonna try. Um, yeah, there we go. So we catch Venonat, our new insect Pokemon. So we catch that. And we'll keep going around here. The Wad Sneasel! Okay, so Sneasel being. Uh, I get a critical hit, and it's super effective. I forgot that steel is super effective against dark types. Except it's probably not that it's a dark type, it's probably more that it's a nice type. Because ice is like weak to virtually everything. I'm eventually going to faint, I reckon, soon. Uh, we're going to go this. Dive doesn't do much, that's okay. We weren't looking for it to do much. When go to Machoke, because obviously fighting is super effective against both ice and. Uh, I think we've got a growl and we use Let's see a bite. Ah bite doesn't do much at all. That's good. And now we will use the Pokeball. And Sneasel was caught. So we catch the sharp claw Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we caught Sneasel, we caught yeah, we caught some decent Pokemon. Uh, this episode is using Thunder Shock and Thunder Wave, which is a bit annoying nonetheless anyway. Route 15, hard water hole. So let's see. We've got a house over there, we've got a tr what looks to be a trainer there. And we can't access that house, okay. Uh, there we go, get some health back. I just beat up the guys in the fighting club. They don't understand type advantages. He's got a cadaver. That's a bad thing for me. Um, so we'll go to Growl. And we use Bite. Yes! Okay, that's a good amount of damage. There we go. Take him out in two hits. He's now going to go to Pharaoh. We'll go to Raichu. And Thundershock should do it in two hits. It does do it in two hits. Raichu's up to level 34. He's got a Drowsy. This time we're going to go to Radicate and we're going to use Crunch. And he takes him out in one hit. Swift is guaranteed to hit. And then he's got a Murkrow. Uh, so again, we'll go back to Raichu and use some Thundershocks. There we go. Nice. I don't know which Pokemon were on your team. It's hard for me to remember the type and advantages of Dark and Fairy types. Indeed it is! I very rarely remember them correctly, as I've proven on this... on these LPs, certainly, you know, certainly the previous... Certainly the one against, uh, certainly the brown LP, I made some pretty silly mistake. It's not very effective. Yeah, don't remember why that is. Uh, of course, it takes me out with confusion that time. Crunch. There we go. Cool. Okay, well, I'm going to head down, see what's over here. Don't know if we want to fight that. This shrub will tell you something important in the final version of the game. I see. Private elevator. The elevator door is locked. I just ran out of hard water hole and now I'm cold. Before I left, I managed to snag some new Pokemon. He's a burglar and he's got a Sneasel. So, definitely. There we go. Sweet one hit. As I would expect, it should be a one hit KO. We've got to ride you against Steel because it's not yet got its ice typing, so fighting attacks won't be any use. Back to Sneasel, so back to Machoke, Karate Chop this time, and I'm fully paralyzed, which sucks. Uh, we use Hyper Fang. Nice and Icy Wind takes me out, which is rubbish, right you? Yes, okay, take him out there, and Jinx. Uh, so what's that, Ice Psychic? This one's probably going to be really strong, is what I'm worried about. Oh. So I want to be able to revive some people. Who do I want to revive against Jinx? Probably Growlithe, but Growlithe doesn't have any decent attacks. 
Krabby isn't going to stand a chance against Psychic Attacks. Radicate has Bite. Okay, it's got Crunch, I mean. So I think Double Slap will take me out. Okay, we'll bring out Radicate. We'll bring out. Okay, so if only he has, if only he has Double Slap, that's okay. Crunch. Oh, so nice. Okay, only a Double Slap. Oh, nothing to worry, really worried about that. Chill, man. It's weird all ice types. Huh. I should really invest in a nice Marie wool coat. Okay, cool. Anyway, so the elevator is there. Blah, blah, blah. We're now going to make our way out of here. Because there is not nearly enough time. Well, I have not nearly enough life to be uh, confident in my ability of surviving. I'm also going to uh, give myself some new TMs, I think. Because there are certain types and certain barrels that I just want to have a, a better go at. Um, so, anyway, that was fun. There's the Pokemon Center. Heal up. I am going to bring out Weeping Bell. Cars PC. Uh, what is it? Spear. Before. Weeping Bell. There we go. Sweet. Uh, now, item Iron Tail can go to Growlithe Raticate. Right, you. Um, steel types. Steel is super effective against what? Fairy and ice. Is it super effective against ice? Yeah, but I'm already effective against that with Growlithe. So let's put it on Radicate. Uh, I mean, Hyperfang is actually only. Uh, well, I can get rid of Tail Whip to be honest. Uh, let's see. Dream Eater, no one can learn that. Uh, Scald, I've already got two decent water moves. Dig, Dig can go on someone. Uh, dig, Dig, Dig. Strong against what? Poison, Rock, Fire. Uh, poison, Rock, Fire. What is ground good against? I should know this. Poison, Rock, Fire, Electric. Um, Either going on Raichu or Growlithe. Growlithe probably isn't going to learn anything else. Is Machoke going to learn anything else? Let's put on Machoke. Uh, we'll get rid of Light Kick. Okay, Dream Eater's gone. Uh, Scald, I've already checked. TM19 is Seismic Toss. We might as well teach that to Raichu because frankly it's not going to learn anything better. Uh, and we can get rid of Swift. Uh, double team fire blast. Yes, I should have done this straight away because Growlithe needs a better move than that. Okay, anything else? We got bide. We've got rage. None of them are decent. So uh, what I might do is I might sell them. We talk to these people. The researchers in Rainy Lambs have contributed so much to the field of science. You know they agree with the census of antidote. Yes, we have talk, spoken to those guys. Okay, so we now can do these battles, I reckon. First of all, about Fighting Club is I'm not allowed to tell you. So he's got a Mankey. Um, steel is not effective, so let's just uh, see how much damage that does. Not too much, but it's okay. Uh, next is Primate. So fighting, fighting is weak against. Come on, psychic, obviously. Um, what else is psychic fighting weak against? It does half damage against poison. I, I know that, so I can put in weeping bell and be pretty confident that he can't take me out pretty quickly. Okay, there we go. Cool, weeping bell's up to thirty-four, and he's got another mankey. So vine whip, and vine whip. Nice. Stop. The Fight Club is a little old place where we can get together and battle. Isn't that cute? Rule number two? Nah, forget about two. Another much so he's got another shot. Strain punch, which is annoying. Yeah, let's put him a choke, see, see what we can do. 
Dick does a decent amount of damage. Dick takes out Machop, who's also got a Machokes. Let's see who's more powerful. My Machoke is! It's now level 30, and he's also got a Sudowoodo, which is weak against fighting attacks. That's a bit odd. I give we got a nice nest of Tyrogue here. Ah, no wonder. Let's do this battle. Oh no, we've already done you. Let's see what there's anything up there, nope. Rule number three, if all your Pokemon go limp and tap out, the battle is over. He's got a Hitmonchan, so... Uh, we're gonna go ground this time, I reckon. Come on, Fire Blast! It does hit, but it doesn't do nearly as much damage as I was hoping it would. There we go. Krabby is trying to learn Guillotine. It learns those and... Yes, Guillotine's not that great. It's obviously just one of those sort of, you know, one-hit kills. Listen here, you are not special. You are not beautiful or a unique snowflake. But I am. Smiley's. Lucky for some. Yeah, I want to be a beautiful snowflake. This sign says absolutely nothing. Uh, now you. Rule number four. Only two trainers per battle. None of that double battle. And he's got a Hitmonlee. Uh, to match his mate's Hitmonchan. I'm going to keep... Um, come on, Krabby. Oh, I should have so taken him out there. Die takes him out. Sweet! So, we got ourselves a fighter. Yep, you do. Pokemon battles are meant to be one-on-one. -on -one. I guess you could call me a... a Gen 1 <laughs> Yeah, that sign says nothing. Um, so, there's a group of four there. The eighth and final rule. If this is your first time in the fighting club, you have to bet. He's got a Poliwrath. So, we'll go right you and probably die. Nope, he misses with the double slap, which is sweet. He misses twice with the double slap. Right you's up to level 35. I'm hoping for a bit of speed here. And I have it, but still, I'm doing absolutely awful damage. Uh, we'll eradicate. I know I'm going to die, but uh, I just want to see how much damage the Iron Tail will do. Okay, there we go. Well done, he says. You can enter the garden now. There you will find balance. Uh, how am I team doing? Uh, I've got eight potions for 20 health. So I can go on Krabby. I've got some super potions that so can go on Growl. Grab me. Need to revive on Y2 just quickly. Rule 6. No shirt, no shoes, just raw battles. Tano has got a Tyrogue, so let's just surf. Uh, so, let's do a decent amount of damage. There we go. That Krabby's up to 26. He's got another Tyrogue. Lots of surfs. And he's got another Tyrogue. I want, I'm seeing his pattern here. Three down, and he's got a Mankey just to mix it up at the end, which takes me out with Fury Swipes. But we'll go to Machoke, and I'm going to use Drain Punch and get back all of my health. Karate Chop takes out Mankey, and we defeat the trainer. Oh, it's kind of chilly, he says. I think I'm going to put on a shirt now. Maybe some shoes, too. <sighs> but then you must be kicked out of Fight Club. Rule 7. Battles will go on as long as they need to. He's got a Machoke. I've got a Machoke. Let's see what happens. He's using Drain Punch. I'm going to use Drain Punch. And we take him out. Machoke's up to level 31. And he's also got an Ampharos, which is a bit odd. Um, we use Dig, because it would be super effective. Luck. We take out that. That was quick, he says. It's healthy just to let it all out sometimes. My life was boring. That's why I came here. The fighting club frees me. So there's a hiker with a Graveler. Um, so, Graveler. Weeping Bell is the best choice. Some Vine Whips. And then he's got a choke. I'm going to keep him Weeping Bell just for a moment. Try some, uh... Throwing some Acid in there. And he's got a Gobat. Uh, so we'll go to Raichu. Should be faster than him. I am, again, doing rubbish damage. But there we go. So, Uncle! 
I'm leaving my old life behind. I've been born anew. Level 5. One battle at a time. Let's go to level 34 hit him on top. So I'm going to use Drain Punch and just take it out. Come on. There we go. Nice. Okay. Machoke's up to level 32. No need to rush. There are plenty of battles to win out there. Yes. And now we're going to go in here and see if we can catch what I'm assuming is going to be a tie rogue. And I would assume correctly. Okay. We're going to take it out. Okay. Uh, well, let's put in Raichu. Well, probably the seismic toss is a rubbish tag. Uh, you know, until you get a fair way through. Okay, Tyrogue was caught. There we go. The scuffle Pokemon. It will never run from a fight. It is one. It is one true desire lives in its beat. Like, it's one true desire in life is to beat Kakarot in a battle. Don't know what Kakarot is. Maybe that's a reference. I not get. But nonetheless. So that is the fighting club on that side complete. I'm going to heal up now, and then we're going to go down to Hard Water Hole and see what the fuss is down there as well. Um, yeah, let's see what on earth is going on in Hard Water Hole. And it looks like we might be getting some ice Pokemon down there, but uh, don't know that for sure. Yet. So. Pop in here. Hard water hole. Danger. Slippery ice. Looks like I might have been correct. I slipped on the ice and spilled a barrel of minerals. They punished me by giving me guard duty, but I was distracted by this rock. It says a quarry with a Nidorino. So uh, we're going to go to Choke. And we're going to not use Karate Chop. We're going to use Dig. And it's super effective and takes out the Nidorino. He's now got an Onyx. Uh, so we're going to go to Krabby. And you surf. Boom. He's got a chop. I'm going to stick in with Krabby just for a couple of turns. Ooh. Gets back some of his health, but there we go. He's got Eradicate, uh, so we're going to go to Machoke. And you Drain Punch, get some of that health back. And then he's got to go back to Raichu. Thundershock shouldn't be too much of an issue. Ouch, I keep falling. If Quarry Grunts were given proper equipment, maybe I wouldn't be slipping so much. Okay. Are you a figure skater? That was pretty impressive. My friend keeps slipping and falling. Anywho, I'm going to ask you to leave. Boss's orders. Got a Marowak. Uh, it's actually a decent Pokemon for me in terms of... Well, it would have been a decent Pokemon for me had it not killed me. And he's got a Machoke. Um, let's see what Growlithe can do for the last. And of course he gets a freaking crit hit and takes out my Growlithe. Drain Punch takes out the Machoke. Watch out Quarry, there's a Maniac on the loose. I doubt you can stop the Quarry mission. Our city will be perfect. Who cares if we have to rip apart Baldor to build it? Okay, while Paris in here, I'm pretty sure we have Paris, if I remember correctly. Right, you grew to level 36. Let's just check, Paris is pretty early on. Yeah, we did, cool. So, there's an item stone there to help evolve more Pokemon. Uh, we'll do this battle now. It's to stand back, I'm warning you! Says he's got a Graveler. Uh, we'll go Weaving Belt and use Vine Whip a couple of times. And he's got a Sand Slash, so I think I'll stick, stay in. Uh, Vine Whip takes out. There we go. Sweet. Forgive me, I am a coward. I'm kind of scared myself. I've lost my way. I hope we don't hurt them. They should be free, all three of them. Okay, so up the stairs, and there is immediately an item, an elixir. Should we be worried that they're giving us stuff? And we have wild seal in here, so... Uh, there's a Pokemon I'm pretty sure we don't have. <laughs> this is a sacred stone. They say your bones will turn to ice if you stand near it for too long. 
channel that sends out an EV. So we're gonna go to the shop. It uses sweet kiss. Cry chop. Green. I should use drain punch first, I know, but there we go. She chokes up to level 33 and she's also got a Glaceon. Um we'll stick with uh the choke because Fighting is still super effective against ice. There we go. Sweet. Feed the channel. Qua! So cold. This ice rock contains evolutionary powers. Who knows how long it's... How long? Who knows how long it's been here? I think it's what that said, but I'm not sure. Ice sliding puzzles. Okay. Excuse me. I'm trying to scrape some blepatite off this rock. You're ruining my concentration. Wait, you're not a quarry. No idea what blerapatite is. If it was meant to be a thing. Yeah, we've got him a choke against uh that is really annoying. But we get the crit hit on Houndoom. Uh next up is ground flying. We'll go weeping bell. I know it's not the best, but damn you sand attack. There we go. It's not that it is normal effective, I'm pretty sure, because come on, make some hits. There we go. There we go, finally. And he's got eradicate. So another one from the chop. Sweet! Okay, another one down. The shop's up to level 34. Not my blurpetite. You spilled my blurpetite all over the ground. Curses. This is interesting. Okay, on the ice, we meet Wild Paris again. Which seems a bit odd, to be honest. Um, like some wild shelter or seal as it were there's a super potion there which we will use because I am low on health super potion we can go there we go hey 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 we're holding a secret weapon in here or should I say three secret weapons no if he ever comes into hard water hold it's a perfect hiding place he's got a marowak ground type called weeping bell and I... I'm gonna acid. <laughs> there we go. It's not very effective, but it works. And then he's got an Arbok. Uh, so we're gonna go to Machoke and pray I don't get poisoned again. Please dig. There we go. Lovely. One hit kill. <laughs> I think I heard some screeching. Haha, -ha, boss. Has everyone believed that we were building a perfect city? I know better. Interesting. The plot thickens. Here we have TM13, which I'm assuming is Ice Beam, isn't it? Ice Beam. Do we have anyone who can learn Ice Beam? Krabby can and so can Eradicate. Uh, Krabby might be useful with Ice Beam. Uh, um, I'd love to get rid of Dive, but I can't. Eradicate on Ice Beam isn't great because he doesn't have great... Well, actually, what's the special stuff? Let's be honest. Uh, let's have a look at our Pokemon. Stats. Uh, stats. Special, 28. Not Revolved, bearing in mind. Stats. 47. Evolved. None of the, Neither of them are particularly strong. I'm going to give it Eradicate some... Swift is better than Hyper Fang. Hyper Fang misses uh, far too often. Ends actually only 80, and we'll be removing it anyway once we get something half decent, like you know, uh, once we get something decent, like I should say. Come on, uh, we need something decent, like I'm just going to keep saying that, aren't I? 
Uh, until we get something like Double Edge, or uh, just essentially a far more high damage dealing uh, normal type deck. Eradicate grid to level 31. Okay, cool. That is a big sheet of ice there. In here we have Zubat, which are uh, not going to be any problem. Or well, they wouldn't be if I wasn't paralyzed. And I've been paralyzed every single freaking time. And then. That was a load of rubbish. I'm telling you right now, that was. Absolute rubbish. Okay. I'm assuming we're just meant to work our way around, but can't be sure. Ooh, wild Jinx! Wow. Okay. Um, I don't want to kill it. Is the thing, and I need Weeping Bell for Weeping Bell is bad, obviously, for like catching Jinx because, like, you know. Ice type against grass type. Uh, tell me I've got some decent Pokeballs. I don't. Okay. Let's use Cut. Let's see how much damage that does. It takes it out because of it. Uh, damn. I don't have. I don't have the Pokeballs to be honest to do it anyway. Ha! Can you? Are you kidding me? What are you doing here? You need to learn some manners because you're really harshing my mellow right now. I've joined forces with Team Quarry. They love me. I even captured three weapons for them. They're sitting quite obediently over there, but I won't let you see them. Okay, he starts off with Haunter. What to use? What can you use? Uh, come on, come on, fight through, fight through it. Yes, okay, it's a good start. I know I'm poisoned, it's really annoying. Come on, fight through it, fight through it. No. Okay, good. Okay, I need you to fight through it this time. Yes! Okay, come on. Knock him out, knock him out, knock him out, knock him out. Yes! Okay, what well, I'm gonna choke. Brilliant. Okay, he's about to use Poliwhirl. Yes, I will change Pokemon. Obviously, to a Weeping Bell, despite not having any freaking. Why am I slower? Uh, I suppose. Oh, it's only it's even levels. Um. Anyway, this is a revive time. We want right you revived. I think I was gonna I wanna use this Alexa frankly on we can play. Okay, it woke up. That's not too much of an issue. Vine whip should do a decent yeah. Shouldn't be able to do that much damage to me. I'll say that. Okay, there we go. Polywell is down. Next up is Steelix, the ground fire, I think. No, ground steel. Come on. Oh, I have no PP for Drain Punch. You're kidding me. Come on, Karate Chop. Yes, get the crit. Needed that crit, otherwise I would have needed to another turn. I would have probably died from the poison. It's going to send out Dratini. Oh, I'm so glad I've got this. Ice beam on me now. Whew. Okay, Dratini isn't that isn't actually that bad at all. I say that and it uses Dragon Breath. Okay, I was wrong. Dratini is powerful. And he's got a Staryu. Still, obviously. Raichu. Come on. Staryu is fast. You're gonna be faster. You are definitely gonna be faster. You're also totally gonna be faster, yeah. Well done, well done, well done. And full paralysis. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on, Thunder Shop. Crit hit. Crit hit. Brilliant, Raichu. Well done. Well done. Well done. Ah, <sighs> did not think we'd get through that, because I have been really rubbish at preparing for these. Grr, what's the matter with you? I wish that you were never born. Bit harsh. Ugh, my head hurts. I gotta get out of here. The duck won't like it when his friends find out I failed him. Crush you later, creep. Okay. Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno are cruelly chained to the rocks. 
I unlock the change and set the legendary trio free. There they fly. The birds flew out of Hardwater to Hall to roam the region of Baldor. Okay, we can exit here, which is interesting. And this enters that elevator, I guess. Uh, I'm assuming that that's basement floor that we were just at, B, uh, B1, F4. Cool. Okay, so we did it. We did it. Okay, Machoke fainted. Doesn't matter, as long as I avoid the wild battles around here. Okay, Ben and I, we can deal with you. Like, it's not that much of an issue. Okay. Whew. Wow. Okay. Um. So, gonna have to go back in there because there were several Pokemon that I missed that I failed to capture, including Jinx and Seal. Um. Well, primarily Jinx and Seal. Uh. So we'll certainly go back in there and catch some more Pokemon. Um. I think I'm gonna call it a day here. Uh. I can certainly buy some Great Balls. Probably should buy some Super Potions. Yeah, we'll buy eight super potions and we'll buy some full heals to stop paralysis and poison being so annoying. And we'll buy some great balls. Ten, ten of them. So yeah, and uh, so yeah, so we'll have to uh, work on tackling the battles of Hardwater Hole in terms of those remaining few. Uh, Pokemon to catch on the next episode. Uh, I hope you will join me for that episode. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And yeah, um, I hope to catch you on the next one where, yeah, we're going to catch some Pokemon in here. Then we're going to go back and do the gym battle because we didn't even get around to doing that. This episode's been so chock full of other stuff. Um, some interesting stuff. I really like the Zapdos, you know, Ultra's line. Um, so yeah, we'll check it out and we'll ask the big questions as to where on earth these, um, you know, well, sorry, what I mean is, you know, we'll go do the gym battle, and then we'll come out, and we'll actually go up that bridge up towards, um, Entropia City as well. Uh, so we've got some stuff to do still, uh, I hope you're really enjoying this LP, I really am, I'm really enjoying, um, playing through the region of Baldor, and I hope you are watching and enjoying, and I hope it's encouraging you to get this game, because it's amazing, and be sure to show, um, support to uh, Shantytown and his work, because it's really, really good. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Hope you have a good one.